knees. Come on. Let's go see what they're doing. Baby, baby, I'm aware of where you go each time you leave my door. I'm watching you walk down the street, knowing you're the love you meet. But this time, before you run to her, leaving me alone and hurt. Haven't I been good to you? Haven't I been sweet to you? Stop. Secluded nights. I've even seen her maybe once or twice. But is her sweet expression worth more than my love and affection? But this time, before you leave my arms and rush off to her charms, yeah. haven't I been good to you? Haven't I been sweet to you? Stop in the name. The idea of a lesbian for me was like some shadowy, evil thing. It was definitely tied to this idea of like a perverse girl. I did not identify it at all with what I was. The purpose of this film is to give you an opportunity to judge the emotional behavior of others. You will see these two people reacting to stories that they have been prepared to accept as real happenings. I remember uh, my best friend, Jennifer. She had really pretty curly hair, and she was my best friend. I, I liked her a lot. But I'll never forget, um, rumors started flying around about this public high school in the neighborhood. Um, they were saying that bull daggers, I remember that word, were just terrorizing the women in the school. No, this, I don't, now that I think back, I don't know, but I just remember my mother even talking about it. Everybody knew about this. And what they would do is they'd hang out in the girls' bathroom. And so the women who'd come in, you know, they'd attack them. And now that I think this must have been bullshit, it must have just been, but, you know, with broomsticks, the whole bit. And so, of course, um, my friend and I, uh, Jennifer, you know, we, we talk about it, and I thought, I was terrified I, because that word sounds so frightening. And I'll never forget, um, once we were kind of in the bathroom alone together, and, and she said, well, what do you think of that? I said, I don't know, it scares me. And she said, well, what do you think if we fucked? You know, and, I, and I, I looked at her, and she said, no, I'm just kidding, and she just kind of laughed. And I thought about that. It freaked me out. And I had to have been, like, maybe um, 11 or 12, and I, I thought she was just, she had just heard that word somewhere, and she was just using it. But then years later, um, it turns out she's, she's a lesbian. So, I, you know, maybe she, she was kind of coming to that awareness, too, at that point. I don't know. I, I thought that they were all bad. They all had terrible relationships. They beat each other up, and they just want to have sex, and that's it. I don't know where I get that from. Somebody made me believe that. And I'd had a friend when I was probably all through grade school. and We were, we were really close friends from probably second grade on. And when I got to be probably around sixth grade, maybe, people started saying she was a lesbian. You know, she's a lesbian. You don't want to hang out with her. And it wasn't, I mean, she wasn't. She was very, well, it turned out later she was, but at the time, she wasn't. And she didn't understand it, and we didn't understand it. It was just this feeling about her. She spent too much time with girls. She was very physical with girls. And um, I wound up actually not being friends with her for a while. I, I, I don't, I think it was attached to that. I, I think there was something about that. Oh, I really loved my childhood. Um, I think <clears throat> the fact that I didn't know that I was a lesbian helped a lot to have fun. Ate a box of candy, greedy. Jumped out the window. Now I know you're really crazy. Eeny, meeny, sicilini, ooh, bapa, bapalini. Ashi, kachi, liver, dashi, I love you. <laughs>
I remember thinking that it must be like an amazing thing that either somebody has the freedom to deal with their body that way or to 